CDC lawmakers look to address the opioid crisis, patients are looking for other ways to treat pain and in many cases their addiction. News Channel 5's Matthew Torres shows us an alternative way that's making a difference. Oxycodone. If it wasn't the pain that made Steve Olson hazy, Leviquin, Gabapentin, more Percocet, morphine, it was a compounded mixture. Then it was this laundry list of drugs that clouded his mind. I thought I was very addicted to him at that point. He needed them to ease the excruciating pain to his thighs caused by neuropathy. Basically felt like I was being hit by a baseball bat. It got so bad he had to leave his job. I cannot even sleep with a bed sheet on my legs or anything like that because the weight of a bed sheet would actually be extremely painful. He relied so heavily on the opioids every day. Someone who once ran a marathon found himself confined, addicted and depressed. I would basically sit in a chair and stare at a wall or at a TV or sit there and just cry for hours. Olson visited a dozen doctors but nothing worked. One wanted to boost the dosage. Walked out of that doctor's office because he just wanted to increase all the Percocet and morphine. Limiting the number of prescriptions is part of an aggressive plan by the governor to help end the epidemic in the state. Tennessee has one of the most opioid prescriptions per person in the country. Notice what you can hear. Olson finally found help through Dr. Lindsay McKernan at the Osher Center for Integrative Medicine. It's been a complete turnaround. How interesting it is to feel so weightless. She helps chronic pain patients through hypnosis, okay, helping them relax through a deep state of mind. The brain and the body are firing signals back and forth. There's a lot of activity that goes on and hypnosis can help reduce that activity. She started a program that has grown to group sessions with patients as young as 13. And it might not be that the pain completely goes away, but it could be that your daily pain changes from a seven out of a 10 to a five out of 10. It's counting now from 10 to one. It's been two years now and Olson is no longer using the drugs as he finds a piece of himself he once lost. I have been more active. I have not had the need for a cane or a walker. Matthew Torres, News Channel 5. Now we want to note Olson is off the drugs, not strictly because of hypnosis, but with medical guidance. To learn more, visit newschannel5.com.